What's going on, y'all? I just wanted to share something with y'all real quick. Before I head off in this gym, I saw a DM from a girl, a young girl, man. She uh, She's still in high school, matter of fact. I think that's what she said. She's still in high school. She's experiencing her first breakup, you know, with a guy that she was with for two years. And, you know, I'm just because she young don't mean that she don't know the pain of heartbreak because, damn it, we all been there. No matter how young you are, heartbreak is very real. The pain is very real. So I respect that and I acknowledge that. But y'all know, whenever we teenagers, we feel like the whole world fucking coming down whenever we break up with our first love or that first real relationship or whatever. And that's where she's at, man. But she gonna be all right. She's a, an attractive young girl, man. She apparently loves hard because she's hitting me up. And she told me that, you know, she don't know what to do with her life for the last seven days. You know, he broke up with her a week ago. Last seven days, she ain't been able to eat or sleep, so she wants any kind of tips or advice about moving on. Look, I'll tell her the same thing I tell any one of y'all. You know what I mean? It don't matter what the relationship was. It don't matter how good of a guy he is to you, or was to you, rather. There's a certain thing called re-identification that needs to happen in order for you to heal. Because she mentioned... Oh, he's everything that a girl could want. I refuse to ever downgrade. Now I'm afraid I'll, I'll, be, I'll always be alone or some shit like that. And I'm like, look, he ain't everything that a girl want. Yeah, at least he ain't everything that a girl deserves. Because a part of what you deserve is somebody who wants you back. All right? That's who he is now. You have to re-identify with him. Not, you know, not just as, oh, he was caring and attentive and would do anything for anybody. There's another characteristic of this man you need to now re-identify with. And that's the characteristic of not wanting your ass. At least not as much as you want him. I'm just giving him the benefit of the doubt. He probably don't want your ass at all. You know what I'm saying? And that's a hard, harsh truth to have to, you know what I mean, accept and acknowledge. But that's the first step to healing. Because if you don't acknowledge that, what you're going to do is you're going to keep your energy and your focus into either waiting for him or trying to avenge what he's done and get on his radar again and show and prove that you are who he wants. You're going to call his phone a million times. You're going to end up hitting up the girl that he's dating now or have some beef with her. You know what I'm saying? Or you're going to end up trying to fuck up his car. And you don't want to be in any of those positions. One of the worst positions and most common ones, to be honest with you, is whenever you're going to sit there waiting for him to come to his senses. Look, let me tell you something. If a dude shows you and tells you that he don't want you, ain't no such thing as coming to his senses. We don't bump our fucking heads and the, the, the thought slips our mind that we want you. No. If he don't want you, it's because he's made up his mind. He's damn sure that he don't fucking want you. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of y'all can get confused by, well, you know, what happens if he moves on so quick? I thought it was so great. He was all about me. But it, right after we broke up, I see him with another girl and he's holding hands or whatever. Look, that's another thing. Ain't no such thing as moving on quick either. Ain't no such thing as moving on quick. I know a lot of people sitting there raising their eyebrows at that. It's either one of two things. Either he was never on to begin with or he moved on a long time ago. You just finding out. So don't let that confuse you. You know what I'm saying? After a breakup, the very first thing you need to do is understand and accept that he don't want your ass. I don't care how good of a guy he is. I'm not saying he a fuckboy just because he don't want you because that's not the case. Everybody ain't meant for everybody. But you now have to look at him and say, with everything that I saw in him and that I loved about him or that I still love about him, let's keep it real, I have to now acknowledge that he don't want me and that's something I deserve in somebody that I want to be in a relationship with. The longer you deny that, the longer you defer that truth, the longer it's going to take for you to heal because you're mentally being delusional. And until you're in, and, and from what I understand, being delusional is some sort of mental illness, right? It's some kind of related to a mental, mental illness. Until you cure that mental illness, your heart will never heal. Understand that when a guy breaks up with you, he don't want your ass. That's the first step to healing. Much love.